two key apparel retailers are reporting this week. The limited today in the gap tomorrow. With me now is Thomas Philandro, a retail analyst with Susquehanna Financial Group. He is currently ranked number one by Bloomberg on both Gap and the limited. Tom, great to have you on the show today. So Thanks, let me first uh, ask you about some of the economic data and then put it to work against the retail climate. Mortgage defaults hit a record in this country. If people cannot or will not make mortgage payments, do you really anticipate them to make discretionary clothing purchases? And this all against right the backdrop of near 10 percent unemployment. Yeah, well, 10 percent unemployment, but 90 percent of the people are working and Americans aren't wa walking around naked, right? So the <laughs> yeah, reality I guess that's is that's not an option, is it? That, that is, that's the reality of life is, and, and in particular when you're talking about children, for example, they're growing. So there's a need, a natural need for replenishment. And I will say the American consumer does have an insatiable appetite for newness and fashion so there are going to be winners out there I think overall we're seeing a stabilization as you can see by the first quarter numbers great numbers but it's been a bit choppy as we said going into April we thought that the stocks had baked in way too much of a consumer recovery second half is when we'll get a real clear clear read on it so challenging near term so you're here to talk about gap and limited yes. you don't view those stores as discretionary so much as you must have. Walmart really benefited, right, from the recession as people sought out those lower prices. I suppose with the gap, you could look at Old Navy, which brings me to my question, is Old Navy going to struggle now that, as you're illustrating, things are improving? No, I, I would actually say that Old Navy should be able to benefit in a time like this. I mean, they are centric in value, centric in fashion, centric in fun, and more importantly, they are a family-oriented oriented brand. So strong marketing and product messaging can win consumers. Again, we have to have discretionary spending in apparel when not walking out around without clothes this is a great place to do it so the, the the key here is to be on target with what the customer wants and when they want it so all of these retailers speed to market and agility I think has really been what's driving the success of players like the Gap and Limited. I mean you're real bullish on these companies so you're expecting them to beat when, let's see, Gap reports tomorrow morning? Yes. Both companies, I think, will beat. I think you'll see strong results, 40% plus increases in earnings. But I, would, I will, will say that there's a clearly the love fest and specialty retailer, retail segment has uh, waned a bit. And you're catching falling knives right now. Until we get past the summer selling season, which we consider the commodity selling season, uh, we're not going to get a clear read on the second half until late in uh, July. So it's going to be tough to own these stocks. And you probably noticed me just popping open my computer. I wanted to check Gap shares, which are actually a little bit lower today. So what would you say is the key thing investors are worried about? It's, May, it's the May results that you heard about. It's the uncertainty around the near term. We got Once we get past the East, Easter season, there's really not a lot of impetus uh, for consumers to go out and shop. Until weather turns extremely warm, it, it will be challenging for the sector. And Limited also reporting here after the bell today, your expectations? It's very strong, very strong showing from Limited. 12% comp at that Victoria's Secret division uh, leading the charge, 7% comp in Bath and Body Works. I mean, this company, Agility, speed to market delivering big product but wins. But international exposure, Euro crisis. Well, well, again, international exposure, that would be something that five years from now would be an issue for them. Limited has a billion dollars in retail, call it internationally. They're just beginning to grow international from a franchise operation and company-owned stores. Victoria's Secret, worldwide brand. I don't think there's a better brand out there that can grow internationally. All right, we're all ready. We're all prepared for Gap and Limited to report earnings. Thanks to you, Thomas Philandro with Susquehanna Group. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Lord.